Hey there, today I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Word to do a mail merge and send out something like certificates as PDF files to email. It's a pretty simple process, you just have to know how to do it. So I'm going to start with Word, I'm going to go to more templates here, so I'm going to create a new document. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of different templates, party invitations, all that sort of thing. Uh, the one that I chose previously was a certificate type of thing, which is what this one's all about. So, um, Or we could just go for the party invitation, that looks pretty good as well. So uh, if I just choose the certificate one, and I'm going to create this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a list of people here, and we're going to put their names in here, and we're going to send them out as a PDF. So it's a way that we can uh, send out a whole bunch of certificates to people. Uh, really simply. So um, first of all, what I think I might do is just draw my signature in there. So if I have my pen uh, handy, I can uh, draw a touch. So I can draw my signature in there and I can write the date in there as well if I want to. So uh, 33rd, or I could type it in there as well. So it gives you a bit of um, a bit of a, uh, a nice touch there if you have some handwriting on there. Okay. So I've got my Word document set up. So what instead I want to do is I don't want to have um, just recipient name in there. I want the actual name of the person, okay? So I'm going to change this from world's best, whatever I'm, so I'm going to say, world's best um, student, the recipient name I'll come back to, and in recognition of excellence in sport or whatever it happens to be okay so and you can design this yourself you can come up with your own word document this is just one that I grabbed uh, straight away but um, you can come up with your own one so what we want is we want a list of students that we're going to actually put in there probably the easiest way to do this is to do that from Excel so I've got an Excel document here you can see I've just got first name last name and email that's really all you need to be able to uh, get this set up so uh, you might get that list from a data source and you've got a list of all of the students that you want to give this award to first name last name and email and I'll save that document there okay so I'm going to go across to Word and this is all in mailings so I'm going to click the mailings tab let's have that pinned there I'm going to go to start mail merge and this is going to be email messages yep and I'm going to select recipient so I'm going to use an existing list so it's going to ask me to go find that document so there's the document there that I created with that list I call it book 12 so you've got to save that word document somewhere and I'm just going to say okay excellent so now I can edit the recipient list if I want to. So you can see that's brought in those names, last name, first name, and email. You can change those fields, but yep, that looks right. There's the emails, there's the names of the people. I can sort that and filter and all that sort of thing. I can actually uh, edit that uh, list if I want to, uh, if any of this stuff is wrong, but that's all okay, so that's okay. So I've got my, my list in there. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna put in here the recipient name of the person. So rather than having recipient name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert these merge fields. So it's going to be first name, and I'm going to put a space, and last name. Now I could put email in there, but we're not going to really want the email on the actual certificate. We don't want that. So, um, so we're just going to use that first name and last name in there. Beautiful. That looks really good. So what I could do now is go finish and merge and print those documents. So actually print those out. But I'm going to go merge to PDF. So I'm going to merge all of these documents. I'm going to automatically send the files by email. It's going to go to their email address. Uh, the subject line, I'm going to say, um, you know, congratulations, something like that. And then see attached PDF, and OK. That will then send that off. Just so you get an idea of what that looks like, I'm not going to send the emails. I'm just going to produce those documents. So let's put them on my desktop. I'll go OK. So this is only, remember we've only got two here. We've only got two recipients. You could have a whole list of 100 students here that you're doing. Um, so it's basically just converting those documents into a uh, PDF document, a separate PDF document. OK, it's completed successfully. So I'm going to click OK. And then if I cruise over to my desktop, you will see that I'll have some documents there on the desktop. So I've got, since I've only got two, there it is there, world's best student. Uh, this water to this person. All right, so that was the first name on my list. There's my signatures on there. Or the other document is this one here. And you'll see it's a separate PDF document with the second person's name in there. All right, so each person gets an individualized 
uh, PDF document and there's the second one. Okay, see two separate documents. There's the first one and there's the second one. So each person gets an individualized PDF document uh, that'll get sent off to their email attached as a um, attached as an attachment to the email and they'll have their certificate like that. Or you can see what I've done here is I've produced them as separate PDF documents. It's another thing that you might want to do. So um, you can start for any template you want. You can put anything you want on here and the key bit there is getting the different names in there. Um, and you can change this as well if there were different awards that you wanted to put in there. That would just be one of the fields that you would need to add in that Excel document and call that field award. Okay, award type. And then you could um, when you've put that set up in there, you could just say, uh, instead of excellence in sport, if I jump over to the Word document, you could change that and make that merge field whatever it is that you want it to be. In this case, it might be award. So when I insert merge fields, I've only got three to choose from because that's how I set it up. But if you want to, it could be awards or something like that. So that's just a brief overview of how you can start with a Word document template and create separate PDF documents based on student names for a certificate, for example.